Welcome to Venba. Um, Venba came out, I want to say, last year, and I, I just really thrilled me with how much it did with so little. Like, it's a really short game. And... Yeah, I just was, was really blown away by it. So I've decided to cover it for the first issue of, um... Issue? <laughs> the first post of, of Quick Play. So you can hear the music, it's, I don't know, it's something so like compelling about it. And then it is a, a kind of a cooking game, like that's what the, the game part of it is. So it's kind of cooking themed, you've got this like baking dish and your spice jars. Um, so yeah. Think well before you dare, and never ruminate once in action. The start of every chapter in game has these little um, captions on, on this calendar and it's so cute, so thematic. So this is us, we're Venba. Leaving already? Oh, sorry, did I wake you? What time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Uh, let's go, we're tired. Just like yesterday. Uh, okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. We're just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There are some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idlis, very easy. It'll take me too long, Vemba, don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Fine, I'll make it then. Just wait five minutes. Vemba, really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school, I'll be done in a minute. Okay. So yeah, the titular Vemba. Um, the, the wife of a young couple who have just emigrated from India to Canada. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although, should I try my mother's recipe for once? The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. If the recipe is still readable, that is. So like the main gameplay element of the game is this kind of like cooking puzzle. So you see, we can click on the recipe book, but it's kind of old and faded. This has obviously been sort of loved and used and handed down. So yeah, we, we don't know some of the words um, and you just have to kind of figure it out. So. all the tools and then we have to work out what to do with them. These also have also bad and can make sure to something or it will leak. So hmm, I've not made Italy with these kind of plates before. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels, I'm not sure why, but Anna swears this method makes the Italy's a lot softer. So 
think this is like a little help, but it'll be fun. So we get a pigeon note. Oh, right, we need to do the batter first. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Let's drag it. Let me do that. And then I think we put the... Okay. What is the towel for, if not to, uh... Oh, was I not supposed to put this in straight away? And we put water in? I have played this game once already, but, um... Memory is not my fault. So I think, wait, I want to just rotate one of them. Oh, so I think I, right, there we go. So we do the batter. I think we don't, yeah. Put the water in, put the plate in, and then we rotate it. And then we do another plate, and then that can go in on top. And then we would take that one. And that goes And maybe then we do that. No. The lid off? No, see, this isn't right. Because we need the towel somewhere somewhere. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. The batter leaked through the plate holes and spilled everywhere. Let's try again. Are they meant to go? Ah. There we go. So yeah, this kind of like is the game part of Bemba. You just do the little, little cooking segments. And then it's sort of interspersed with um, the story. little faces isn't it so cute oh wow you even took the time to make our faces i think you forgot about my beard though you really didn't have to do this what else could i do my husband can't figure out idlis vamba i told you to go to sleep you've been feeling sick and exhausted you didn't have to cook it's not a big deal if i skip lunch once pavalan you're making me choose between resting and letting you starve that's not a fair choice to me you're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. See, this is, I love the feminist vibe here. Like, she's just like, can't you see how this is unfair to me? Even if I had let you leave, uh, I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes. It's expensive, but we can manage it. So do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts or my boss changes his mind, it's gonna be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Free.
Look how happy she looks. This is such a beautiful lingering shot. Remember, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. So yeah, they've moved to Canada as sort of young newlyweds. They've left what they had behind them and they're struggling to make it. What? What's with you? you? Never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. Idlis again. Ha! Ah, what's gotten into you today? What a cute way to do it. <laughs> so I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either, but there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only gonna get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. What do you think, Bamba? Why aren't you saying anything? I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavilan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Isn't that lovely? I feel like you get a really good sense of the relationship that these characters have. Being outshone by one's children is a universally desired form of sweet defeat. Look at these pictures, aren't they so sweet? My name is Pavilan, sir. Pavilan, sir. Kevin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. Yes, sir. Bachelor of Science and Physics, sir. I oh, that towel is so dirty there. Here, wear this shirt, Kenna. No. But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period, maybe? I'm driven, self started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Kenna. Hurry now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kenna. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. Um, so that was that kind of highlighted one of my favorite parts about this game, and that's like how 
when a character is speaking a different language, the speech bubble changes. So you can see Pavelan's text in uh, the phone conversation was in yellow and his text in this conversation with his family is in white. And that's to show the difference between speaking in Tamil and speaking in English. And you can see with Kevin's speech bubbles, um, they appear kind of blotchy and dirty, and that's to show that like his Tamil is not as good as his English. It's really, really interesting. All right, I'm telling you, it's time for it to go. What, my beard? This is a phone interview. Your clean shave theory doesn't hold water here. I spent half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. See, he was speaking in English there. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyway. Names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is going to tell them? And Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learnt to adapt. We haven't. You know he's aced yesterday's English quiz? Quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dekana. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I want pizza. How about something better? Like parotta. Dosa? Idli Afam? Ghee dosa? Biryani? Curry dosa? No, I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese, extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time. Kevin, have you ever had putu? No. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. It reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? Yeah, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. <laughs> Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Masterfully parented there. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Emma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flower first, da. Okay. 500 grams of rice and water. Blend the rice. Separate fine rice from chunks. And then this one is smudged and blurred. And then we combine the fine rice and water. So. Let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, Dad. Be patient. Right. So we've got the soaked rice. So we put that in the blender. We blend it up. I should shake the sieve over the towel to catch everything. Yeah, 
See, I don't know much about this sort of cooking. I wonder if this is really how you make like, rice flour. Yeah. I think this is perfect. Why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. Alright, that wasn't too hard. Ah, well, will we get to the rocket? Water in the bottom. Flowering. Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Okay, so. Alright, this is straightforward. Assemble the parts so that water stems and this sorts of both. The tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And in what order the cooking from crumbles. Do we want the kettle water? The mold. And then, so it wants the coconut far away. So I assume we do coconut, rice, rice, coconut, rice, rice, coconut. Coconut, rice, rice. <laughs> it's lunch time, having. <laughs> Wow, that was so cool. Vember, I can't believe it didn't fall. Emma, can we do that again? Looks delicious. I want some. We were unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Is he asleep? I think so. Gavin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview, another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. We'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. We really are at the end of our rope. We're behind on rent again. We haven't sent money home in a while. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. But even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. Stop begging. I, I know. I'll call him tomorrow. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold cabin on the putu today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about cabin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with cabin? I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel the same wall growing around Kevin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Kevin? It's so hard to even talk to him. He speaks in English all the time and he talks so fast. It's hard to understand him. It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it or if he's embarrassed. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we chose to bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities. It also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Yeah, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Bember, he'll turn out just fine. 
How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? So cute. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect like hair fallen from the head. Go on. Tell her. His name is Pavelan. He's my dad. P-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know why my dad left the office? Okay, well, does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see my dad today? Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. So this is... The way the speech bubble is kind of all, um... There. You, is all kind of smudgy. It shows that Van Bayer is struggling to understand him. He's, like, speaking English... Like, complex English. Uh, quickly. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5pm today says he must have left then too. Okay, thank you. Why are we walking through the park, Anna? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kenna. Sometimes your Appa loves to walk instead of taking the bus. If you decided to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said Appa left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, Kenna. I'm just worried about Papa. Why are you so worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, no, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet, Kevin. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil, okay? Oh, okay, I can do that. Ahem. Okay? Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. See, you can speak Tamil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's that they don't talk to him? What do you mean? Ah, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job then? You can see the like letters sort of popping in much more slowly when he's speaking Tamil as well. It's so well designed. Oh yeah, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home that used to be every day. Maybe you should bug him more. How did you and Oppa meet? Hmm. You know, I'm named after a type of poem, right? Yeah, Appa told me. A Venba is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay, so we organised a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break, but he was the shabbiest person I had ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Oppa? Yes. Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later we all read the article that came out in the magazine, but it wasn't an article. It was a poem? It was a Vemba, a gorgeous one too. It was about the school, the students, our protest, and it was about me. Somehow people couldn't ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. Oh, my heart. Why did you move here? 
It wasn't an easy choice. Pavelin wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took it. It's interesting that that's not elaborated on any further, like why they had problems with being together. Amma, I see Appa! This bit really gives me chills. ambiguous but I think it's pretty heavily implied that that was racially motivated in some way nothing no matter how dear should be sought at the expense of one's honour little grey hairs and look at that so it's been uh, I think the calendar suggests it's been like eight years I, I can't quite remember what the previous one was and his glasses are still taped up from the crack we saw them just get in the last scene um, which I think is really um, just really telling so I think it says a lot with Again, it says a lot with very little. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yeah, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Kevin pack. I love the little ritual of her turning the radio up every time as well. Hmm, looks like we're gonna make something delicious. Biryani gravy. Okay, well, that's not that helpful. Okay, the recipe is completely unreadable. Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before. But I've seen Alma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. I had all these first. Okay, that looks like the herbs and nuts and stuff. These ingredients, so expensive. Alma, why are you going through all of this trouble? It's okay, Dee. It's a big thing to leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. So, I think that's the, these herbs and spices. Maybe the cardamom as well? There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. Okay, so chilies, tomatoes, onions, and rice. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the next one. Right, so if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so we do onions first and tomatoes last. Now the beef goes in after we add the salt and powders. That order is important. Then we add water and let it reduce. Ah, uh, how am I going to remember all of this? Don't worry, I've added all these instructions to the recipe book. So, right, let's go with... The lovely... Uh oh. 
must have done something wrong. Let me try again. So, okay, yeah, so it's just the, it's not the little spices. I can never get tired of how great the little spices Emma, I wish I could see how much these cost you. I wish you could see how much these cost here. I can read, it's fine. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay. So then I think we do onions. And then it'll be the chili and the ginger garlic paste. And then the tomato as well. Of course the tomatoes go in there. We went through a lot of trouble for the rescue but I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. I'm fixing these now and I hope Kevin can appreciate when he fixes these. If he ever does. Okay, so this said it goes in after the herb, the spices and the salt, so let's do that. Okay, the beef then the water. We just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and then we can start the layering. I can almost smell it. The like it's the art is so rich and the descriptions and like the sound, like it really, really sounds like you just fried up some spices and stuff. Gravy's done. All that's left is the biryani. I can I hope I can finish it before Kevin leaves. One, two, one, two, three. Once done, let's sit in low flame for 30 minutes. At least the second part is salvageable. I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly and let it simmer together. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of gravy, rice and other things, but in what order? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, I see. We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer? Yeah. What's wrong, Emma? Oh, Emma, why are you crying? You know we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home, where else will we go? I know, Kenna, it's just so far away. Okay, so the top layer is spices, and the layer below that is rice. So two is rice, so one must be beef. Oh, gravy. So gravy, rice, gravy, rice, and then just Fried onions, mint, and saffron milk. The colour is incredible. Look, it's so vibrant. It's like bursting off the page. Uh, it's green. I think this is right. I just have to cover it with the lid now. Okay, I think this is it. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavouring it. I can't wait. Maybe I'll get a curry tonight. <laughs> okay, should be good now. Looks amazing. It sure as heck does. <laughs> Absolutely sublime. So yeah, it's a really interesting like generational divide again. Kevin is using a spoon and Pavelan is eating with his hands, which I think is more traditional. How is it? Oh, it's so good. Beef really is the best. <laughs> Not you. Oh, it's really good, Emma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, oh, Emma, stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kenna, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive, we might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all, so I'll be going with them. Oh. 
This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. We wanted to see the university. I thought it'd be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour really. Just a bunch of grey buildings. Okay, Kana. Sure. Don't you even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> uh, maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some podies, pickles and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kevin? Emma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Emma, they don't want biryani and the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of it this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? No, you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave all, him all the pieces. I'm just eating Kuska here. That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I, I said no, Emma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. I just want to be normal for once. Like, I can't imagine how heartbreaking that is to hear. <laughs> They've tried so hard to keep him connected to his roots and he just is rejecting it all. Kenna, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us, but just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it, just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. It's just, there's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never gonna see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. I'll call every week too, so please try not to worry, okay? Okay. Is that them? Yes, I think so. Who is that girl? I've never seen her before. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. There he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent and makes his own choices. Even if they are so incorrect. <laughs> Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like the old times. We are unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. She must have received a lot of those letters. Oh, did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yes. Well, maybe he hasn't got- Oh, uh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, uh, well, it is a big day after all. I'm sure he's got a lot going on there. Oh, sure, let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. I forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring him it to him next week sometime. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavel, and we should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? Oh, you made that up. Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the works that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote, too. 
All the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yeah, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read Tamil literature, Tamil literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're gonna suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on, I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yeah, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. It's very moving. <laughs> it's very moving. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Wow. <laughs> That's... I feel like... Yeah, so... It doesn't, ex again, it doesn't explicitly state it, but Pavelan has died, so Vembo is now on her own. I'll get her face light up when she sees the phone. Music. Rotate. I'm not to just wave my mouse about quite while doing that. I don't know why. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks delicious. Everything in this game is incredibly entertaining I when I have no idea what, what it is. We're cooking up a feast here, pal. Oh, 
jacket and the frying pan. I don't even eat fish and this looks incredible. But it's so heartbreaking. Mm. Thank you so much. Sure, Emma, I have a lot of plans today, but I think I'd stop by for a bit later. Super. Sorry, Emma, something came up last minute and I couldn't can't make it tonight. It's honestly, this is one of the most heartbreaking scenes in any game I've ever played. go home if I felt like I didn't have anyone to stay for, she said earlier. We are happy to inform you that your application for the secondary teacher position has been accepted. Too little, too late. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet to many strings.
Yo, that's hype. The exact vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung inside the house. I can't scroll up. My dad just liked to hang it inside. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I just needed something unique and interesting here. By the way, for the school lunch scene, I was thinking it'd be cool if it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from their different cultures. Cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Chicken tikka? Spicy vindaloo maybe? Well, Priya's Tamil, also probably none of those. What if we show her eating nothing? Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot. Lol. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Maybe we can touch upon that. So he's a writer, some sort of like TV writer? Oh. That might not fit the tone of the show. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represents Toronto. You must have a favourite dish your mum made you or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like that, this would make me feel like I was worried about nothing when I wasn't. How many times have you written out a message and deleted it <laughs> before sending it? Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. Yeah. I do it all the time. Okay, if I have to give them a recipe, at least I can do it. The least I can do is ensure it's authentic. It's been repaired, that's sweet. I can't believe Alma didn't take her recipe book with her when she left to India though. Well, it looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Ooh, Idlis. This is Putu? Oh, I remember making this with the Alma and Appa. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Appa's favourite. Natu Cozy Kulambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste and the smell. And the day she made it, there was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Emma fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. I wonder what it was. Anyways, if I'm going to feature the re this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. Oh, how helpful. She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and then I can start putting it together. Oh, look at the Tamil writing is so beautiful in this as well. So I think we like have the stuff in the water. And uh, yeah, this one's quite tricky. I can't read really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. It looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Okay, that makes sense. So we put the water in the bowl. We put the tamarind in the bowl. Ooh. We mix. Oh, the water really changed colour. I could add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. So if we do this. Hey. And we put that back in there. We add more water. And we mix. Wait, no, that seems wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was right or not. We'll see. The water isn't really changing colour that much anymore. I think I've gotten everything I can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. Okay. 
That's as much as I'm gonna get, I think. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next thing. Oil. Plenty of oil. Okay. This will be tricky to follow. Okay, well, there's no diagrams in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully. But maybe I can do it step by step? I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. Just have to figure out the missing parts and we can go step by step. Oh, I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate something? Shallots, salt, curry leaves, cumin. I assume it means the seeds and the cumin. Ah, it's seeds, not grains. I can't count the number of times I've woken up to the sound though. How is it already smelling so good? Oh, I can read this part easily. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Red leaves and green chilies. I'm sure it must be the red chilies and the green leaves. Oh, I must have my words for red and green switched around. On to the next step. Add minced something and crushed ginger garlic. Minced shallot and ginger and garlic. This smells so good. I can, yeah, I can imagine it. It's usually around this time Amma has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. Uh, what gives out water? We know that's tomato. First add blank that creates water, then add water. Oh, tomatoes. Frying it seems to release a lot of water. So that's what the tamarind water's for. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left, so... Salt and... Rassam powder. That's not something I'm familiar with. The smell really is taking me back. Anna was upset because of the phone call she got from home. I think I remember now. I'm sorry, Appa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I know. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, no, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. Her mum died. Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. Uh water oh uh, yeah let's go water chicken turmeric and salt <laughs> i like the like every time he puts a box down it falls over i think uh vember had everything standing up straight I'll put the lid on and turn it on i guess I should keep going. Whoa, that looks fantastic. Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Oh man, should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is gonna start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Rassam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool, wow. I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. I want this chicken soup so bad. 
Oh, uh, that looks great, Emma. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. Food really is transportational. Emma, why are you sad? It's nothing. Did I do something wrong? Hmm? Oh no, Kenna, not at all. I just heard from home. Your grandmother. Amma loves her a lot, but sometimes people have to leave and go far away. And Amma will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Alma. Or Appa. Any recipe updates? Kevin, phone your mum. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Back in town. Oh. Wait, I'm not sure if that's why. He's visiting. Yeah, I told you, I'm terrible at this. It's easy, Kevin, listen. It's all about temperature control with Dosa. First, pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter, and since the stone isn't hot, you can spread it easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy, right? Yeah, for you. Another Dosaster coming up. Right, so what do we do? Uh, Add water, turn the heat down, add batter, rotate, and then Oh my god, I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? Are you ready to try Uthapam? The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay the all the vegetables. Ooh, this is like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings. Yeah. Not really though. <laughs> so, add the water. Turn the heat down. Add the batter. I can see my mouse like coming off the screen, the fan does not going on the other screen. I'm just like waving my hand around. Okay, now the toppings. Ooh. Do I have to add all of them? Actually, you can just add whatever you like. Everyone's Uthapam is different. Just make sure to add ghee first. Okay. So we'll add ghee. And then onion, carrot, chili, 
Idli powder. So add some Idli powder and some carrot. You know, let's add everything. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do we better? Yeah, and then it starts to brown. I told you it's easy. I haven't made this in a while. This is your office favourite. Harry dosa is dosa with me. me? Yeah, exactly. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Water, pasta, batter. didn't flail my knives around too much. Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the curry toppings. Like Uthapum, you want to add the ghee first. Then add the, the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual curry and finish with coriander. Okay. Ghee. Egg. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. If there were restaurants that can serve dosas like this back there, you wouldn't have missed home so much and left her. I came here for more than just dosas, Kevin. Oh yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, you start eating these, I'll make the rest, and then join you. Oh, no, 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 I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you, then? Let me do it this one time, at least. Sure, Kevin. Look at all these delicious doses. Emma, I have something to show you. It's interesting that he's wearing cracked glasses now. He wasn't in the previous scene. Like when he was making the chicken soup. I don't think. This is Oma's recipe book. Have you been using it? Wait, I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? Are you wearing Tamil? This is great, Kevin. Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Oma. Actually, I quit that job. Oh, why? I felt like a fraud. I took the job because it was the first place that would hire me. I suppose the showrunners felt I could offer a Tamil perspective, but I've distanced myself from all that my entire life. I couldn't even speak the language fluently. What perspective can I even offer? I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for, my, for me my whole life. But now I'm acting Tamil when it's convenient for me? When there's a job on the line? I couldn't deal with it. You're being unfair to yourself. It's true, Oma. I'm just a tourist. And I wasn't there for you after Rafa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. That's how I feel when I have got a message weeks ago that I haven't responded to. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you. An offer. It was so sudden. 
I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he inspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what is best for you too. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you. And after Pavilion, well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed there, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Anna. How long are you staying for? I don't know, Anna. But this is nice. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know, Kenna. But this is really nice. And that's Vember. I was not kidding when I said it was very short, but like it tells a story in a way that I think a lot of games can only aspire to. Um, it's, it's definitely... Uh, it's one of my top three games that I played uh, this year. Um, and it's really made me rethink games and what can be done with games and the stories that can be told with games. It's kind of, like I said, the inspiration behind quick play like it has such an impact on me in such a short period of time my first playthrough was like i don't know 70 minutes the um the, the music the soundtrack is incredible as well They obviously went to a great amount of effort to uh, make the music authentic. Wholesome Games is a fantastic uh, crew. yeah that's Fembo I hope you've enjoyed it I would really love to know what you think and feel about this game let me know <laughs>